I've been gone for a while. Sorry about that. Hey there everybody, Dave and e again. Welcome back to my channel. We are today going for a drive. I've been gone for a while, sorry about that. Uh, been busy, uh, things been going on. All kinds of crazy stuff. So um, we got a lot to catch up on. So let's get going. Nothing like a fall day in New Mexico. It's like it might get windy. Wish we'd get some snow. Some massive fires going on up in Colorado. So, uh, Jason and I found this awesome trail here. We're going to follow it back and see what we find. Sweet little valley down here. Nice hike in place to camp. All sheltered from all sides. One little cottonwood right in the middle. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Mm -hmm. Probably a perfect place to camp right underneath it. Nice and soft in the sand. Yeah. Yeah. This, this like rock face over here is awesome. Oh my god, look at that cliff. Sheer wall of cliff probably not very good for repelling either look it's all sandstone around here breaks easily even though that looks like granite it looks like pretty substantial stuff but yeah i i with the good uh with the good belay i'd repel down that sure yeah, dude we should bring your repelling equipment over here um get up by going all around that way yeah i guess you could go straight down it oh my god no was... i was gonna say to get to the top of it though it looked like you could take that trail yeah over there where those other people we were. could tie off on one of those trees and then just go got a hundred foot rope man that would be terrifying <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that looks like it might be over 100 foot terrifying but fun because think of how far away it is from us still yeah, unfortunately, the harness on it is made for like a little woman or something. Way too small for me. But it's got carabiners and climbing rope. Dude. That would be fun. That was a lucky find. Because we are weaving... Rocks around here are particularly interesting. That little peak over there, that little pile of rocks. Let's go over there. Rolling. <laughs> it didn't break my neck. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> well, there's just these weird plexiglass 
pieces cut to look like lawn or palm trees. And a lawnmower. And a lawnmower. How creepy and weird. What is that stuff doing in there? Oh, and there's um, a hose in there. Well, the thing was, is we used it as extra storage and then the floor fell in. <laughs> there's a family of skunks living underneath it. Really? Yeah. Um, at least a couple kits and uh, a mama. Mama's pretty big. The tail probably comes up to about here. The kits are, this year were still quite small, so they must have been last year's litter or something like that. Interesting. A lot of creepy old weird water tower and pump house. Yeah, well the thing is, is we could put another well in here if we wanted to because it's already registered with the uh, state engineer. That sounds like a really good idea. Um, well, all this has to come out first. I mean, we cut all the trees out from they're uh, had all grown up through the windmill. We cut them out a few years ago and they're doing it again, as you can see. Fascinating. But yeah, this is wild plum. This doesn't get much taller than that. Oh, La Cejuela. Mm -hmm. These ones are uh, green. In the orchard, we've got a whole bunch that are red. And on a good year, yeah, you can make some good plum jam. Quite tasty. Gotta skin them. Skin's real bitter, but the inside's nice and tasty. My mom used to do that uh, when we lived up in Rio and Medio. Yeah, you just boil them for a second, and the skins come off real easy. Mom made some really good plum jam. It's real tasty, yeah. No, we haven't had a good plum here in at least three or four years, so we're pretty much out in the root cellar. Maybe next year, huh? I'm hoping. I mean, I thought we were going to get some fruit this year, but... Uh, the last frost took out all our blossoms and uh, so we had a, almost no fruit at all this year a couple apricots <laughs> a couple apples out of like two acres of orchard but that's what happens when you live in a high mountain desert as the weather is unpredictable your growing season is short just a little couple of few seconds of this beautiful scene right here. This beautiful fall scene in New Mexico.